Alright guys, welcome to your 26th video, and I think this is going to be the last video, so if it is, it was a pleasure working with you guys on the greatest footer of all time in the history of the universe and the internet. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add three little image icons, and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make a little cheat pop-up for those people too lazy to click on the icon, and they just want a brief overview. So as you can see, whenever you hover over it, a little brief drop up, pretty freaking cool. But pay attention to what I'm about to do because if you don't, it, you're gonna get messed up. Now, all of these buttons right here, we were creating as individual list items in an unordered list. However, for the notification section, what we wanna do is we wanna add it in a separate unordered list. So before we were working in this unordered list, but now, go outside your unordered list and create a new unordered list. So unordered list, unordered list, and guys make sure that you are still in the footer itself or else it'll just appear somewhere in the web page. So inside your footer but outside your unordered list, create a new unordered list and give this the ID of notification z plural. I sound like a little bumblebee. That's embarrassing. Now, anytime you add a list item to this with a special class, it's going to create this little section right here. So basically, we're saying, okay, we want to work in the footer, but we don't want to create a normal button like this. And this is going to allow you to create these cool little notification icons. So each list item here, instead of a button, is an image or a notification icon. So let's go ahead and create a very simple one right now. So let's go ahead and create like this Twitter one. We'll say we're creating. This is all, all the housekeeping to make sure it's you know spaced properly. And now a href, of course, this would link to you know Twitter maybe or wherever. But you need to give this the class of notification icon. Now that's very important and actually let me go ahead and end my anchor right there. Now in between this anchor you're going to have one thing and one thing only and that's an image. Now the image of course um, you can either go ahead and you know copy image URL if you want to use mine or use your own image but depending on the size um, how big you made your footer is how big you want to make your images so you know just keep that point in mind but anyways in between your anchor add image um, you know the source would be whatever you want like uh, twitter.jpg or twitter.ping for right now I'm just gonna make a blank image and that is all you do so again I want to recap one last time because this is actually very important. Outside your unordered list that you made regular buttons in, make another unordered list, but give it the ID of notifications. All of your notifications going here. This is a list item, this is a list item, this is a list item. So we created one list item, which is basically an image, which was actually a link. So whenever you click that, it takes you to somewhere. Now if you go ahead and copy this, you know, say that one would be your Twitter, this one would be, you know, your Google Plus, and this last one I want to make different because note that on some of them you can just, you know, have it click it, take you to your inbox, or take you to your friend request, but you can also have a special one where if you hover over it, you have, actually let me s scroll so that looks good, you have notifications that appear and it allows the user to more easily see and more quickly see their notifications. So who posted on your wall, um, who liked your picture, so on and so forth. So as you can see, this little hover that appears whenever the, or text that appears whenever the user hovers over the icon has three different sections, each with a small line in between them, similar to the programs menu. So let me show you guys how to do that. Okay, so right after your image, link right here in one of the sections anytime you want a span this is what you need to do and let me make sure that I get this right image make sure that you guys can see what's going on and how am I gonna line this up probably like this would be the best way yeah I think that's the best way 
All right, so remember, you want to make sure that this goes in between your image tags because you want to add a span here. Now, maybe it'll be better if I show you guys. All right, where you at, where you at, where you at? All right, right here. Now, what we said is whenever we create a link with a class notification icons, and we created a link with a class notification icon, and that needs to be plural. I think I checked that. S, S, S. And whenever we hover over it, we want a span to display. Now, this span right here that we developed is the thing that pops up. It's basically the drop up menu. So, span equals drop up menu. Now, by default, it doesn't display, it only displays on hover. So again, by default, displays none, display block, which basically means display when you hover over the link. So span 